In this video we share Benedict, the 16th and the pilgrimage to home. In a rare new letter penned by Benedict the 16th, the retired pontiff said he is in the last phase of his life, and while his physical strength might be waning, he is surrounded by a love and goodness that he never imagined. I can only say that at the end of a slow decline in physical strength, inwardly I am on pilgrimage home, Benedict XVI said in the letter, published February 7 in Italian daily Corriere della Sera. He said that it's a great grace for me to be to be surrounded in this last piece of the road, which is at times a bit tiring, by a love and goodness that I could never have imagined. Benedict addressed the letter to Italian journalist Massimo Franco of Corriere della Sera, who was charged with the task of presenting the retired pontiff with letters expressing concern and, and asking about his well-being in the years after resigning from the papacy. He shocked the world when he announced his resignation on February 11, 2013, declaring that the See of Peter would be vacant as of 8 p.m. on February 28. A conclave was called to name his successor, and on March 13, 2013, Jorge Mario Bergoglio was elected Bishop of Rome, and took the name Francis. In his letter, published February 7 on the front page of Corriere della Sera, Pope Emeritus Benedict, said he was moved that so many readers from the paper want to know how I've spent this last period of my life. He said he considers the questions and concerns of the readers part of the love he has experienced, and sees them as an accompaniment on the last phase of his life. Because of this, he said, I cannot but be thankful, on my part assuring you all of my prayers. Best regards. The writer Franco noted that the signature of Benedict is now tiny, almost shrinking along with his physical force. The newspaperman said the Pope Emeritus accepts his fragility and said Benedict's words are a thanksgiving, and at the same time, almost a farewell. The Pope Emeritus resigned in 2013, saying the physical demands were becoming too much for him, and said he would retire to a life of prayer in the Mater Ecclesia Monastery in the Vatican Gardens. On September 4, 2020, Benedict became the longest-lived person to have held the office of Pope. On April 16, 2022 Benedict the 16th turned 95 years of age. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.